How long have you been trying to get this film made in a traditional manner before you went to fund anything? It goes through so many steps, I think. You know, you have an idea. I wrote a script really fast. I wrote this script really fast, which is actually not this particular script, but it was the original script of how I started. And I wanted to write a comedy, and I thought if I write a comedy, it'll be really easy, and you know, wrong. So I think there's a question of, it's a big process trying to find money because it's, everyone who wants to give you money has an opinion about a script, as they should, because they're giving you money. And um, so there's that, and then, I don't know, people like it, they don't like it. I was living in a different country. I had to come to America. I had to come to Los Angeles to kind of focus on that. So that was like even a year after of trying to kind of have meetings and go back and forth. And I mean, my last film took four years to be able to make, and it's it's not an uncommon story among, among filmmakers. Um, so this has been a couple of years, but then I did a really big script change, and, which I think is way better. It's not a comedy anymore. It's kind of a movie about something. It's got funny parts in it, but it's not a comedy. And so, you know, I, I was thinking about this too, and I was thinking about how great crowd, how a great, the, the, an effective crowdfunding can be, because sometimes you write a script and four years pass and you become a different person in that time. And none of those things really make sense. And then, okay, you could go back and rewrite, but there's something if you have an idea and you can have the immediacy of making it in that time, it becomes a full thought instead of like this constant broken up where you have to become like, you have to put down your artist hat and you have to put on your producer hat and you have to go in and you have to get money. And like, that's fine, it's all part of the thing, but it's distracting from each other. So once you, you can never get back on the roll. And so it takes a while. It takes a while. It takes much longer than people think. And, you know, in the meantime, like, hopefully get some other jobs to you know, pay for your life. And, um, and you keep going. What were some of the notes you received from the different investors that you went to? Did they want you to change it? Oh, can you make her 30 years old instead of four? I mean, like, what <clears throat> were some of the things they said to you? I don't care to talk about that. I, I think everybody sh sure has a valid thing, but until, I, you know, I have my own reasons, and I don't like when people give you notes without asking you why. It doesn't make sense to me. It's like, oh, I don't like that. And you think, well, I could tell you why that was the reason, and then we can really have a discussion about it. So I think some people are better at giving notes. Some people are absolutely no. There are kind of maybes. There's a lot of waiting around for people to read scripts and stuff like that. So you have to, I say, pick a group of people, maybe five, that you really trust, who really know you. Some of them can be in the film industry, some of them hopefully ones like a dentist or somebody who works out of the industry or something to get the full spectrum of like notes, like I don't understand this, why does this happen? And so I, I instead of like people, and people are nice, they ask, can I read your script? And you get all excited about it because it feels validating. And then, you know, but then you've subjected yourself to 49 opinions where you don't need 49 opinions, you need five. So. You know, it's all about collaboration. I'm all about collaboration and stuff, but I think it's, uh, you have to be smart. And, and also my advice would be, be very, very, very sure about your script before you send it out because you really only get one chance and that kind of thing, unless you're like me and rewrote your script. But, um, so you just have to have patience. You have to have real conviction, you know? And how long is your campaign? 30 days. 30 days, okay. And is it correct that then if you make your goal that it's being matched? I think I saw that on the site. Or we have a lot of, yes, we, we have matching goals, we have matching funds, we have, you know, this is very helpful to us in many, many different ways. So not just for the money, but for the attention and for the aware, and more attention, but the awareness that this is happening. Like I was saying, like, I'm doing this, we're doing it this way. Yeah. Get on board, you know, and uh, <laughs> the train's leaving the station. The train's leaving the station. You need a ride? Get on board. 